In this particular video lecture, we will be learning about various types of entrepreneurs based on different classifications. The first type of entrepreneur classification is based on functional characteristics. There are four types under this classification. They are innovative entrepreneurs, imitative entrepreneurs, Fabian entrepreneurs and drone entrepreneurs. Innovative entrepreneur. Innovative entrepreneurs introduce new goods products, services, new methods of production, discovers new markets, reorganizes his enterprise and develops new ideas, concepts and application of new technology etc. Entrepreneurs in this group are categorized by an aggressive collection of information for trying out novel combination of factors. Such entrepreneurs do well when a certain level of development is already achieved. They also look forward to improve upon the past. Imitative or adoptive entrepreneurs. Such entrepreneurs do not innovate themselves, but imitate or copy techniques and technology innovated by other innovative entrepreneurs. They are categorized by, by their readiness to adopt successful innovations by other entrepreneurs. They are particularly suitable for underdeveloped regions as adoption saves cost of trial and error. Fabian entrepreneurs. Fabian entrepreneurs display great caution and skepticism in experimenting with any change in their enterprise. They adopt changes only when there is an imminent threat to the very survival of their enterprise. Fabian entrepreneurs usually imitate other innovations only when, there are when they are certain that failure to do so would be determinant for their business. They are very much doubtful and skeptic in their approach towards adopting new technology or trade. This set of entrepreneurs is not dynamic and adaptive. They are very cautious about their moves. Drone entrepreneurs. Drone entrepreneurs refer to the type of entrepreneurs who are very traditional, orthodox and conservative in outlook. They are very keen in retaining their traditional business and traditional machinery or systems of the business. They are contented with their existing technology of production despite of changes in the business environment and society. Drone entrepreneurs are usually reluctant to adopt the changes. The next set of entrepreneur classification is based on development angle. There are five types under this categorization. They are prime mover, manager, minor innovator, satellite and local trading. Prime mover. These entrepreneurs set into motion a powerful sequence of development, expansion and diversification of business. Manager. These entrepreneurs do not initiate expansion and is content just staying in business. Minor innovator. These entrepreneurs contribute to economic progress by finding a better use for existing resources. Satellite. Such entrepreneurs assume a supplier's role initially and slowly moves towards a productive enterprise. Local trading. Such an entrepreneur limits his enterprise to local market. The next set of entrepreneurs are classified based on types of business. Here we have four types. They are manufacturing, wholesaling, retaining and service. Manufacturing. Manufacturing entrepreneurs are those who are involved in production of value added goods by using various inputs like raw materials, consumables, labor, power and other utilities. Value added goods produced can be a variety of products like castings, forgings, soaps, detergents, various chemicals, textiles, plastic components, footwear, school bags, electronic and electrical items, computer-related products, etc. Wholesale An entrepreneur with such a business sells products to the middlemen or retailers. Retailing An entrepreneur with such a business sells products 
directly to the consumers or end users. Service. An entrepreneur in this particular business sells services and not the products. The next group of entrepreneurs are classified based on behavioral scientists. Here we have solo operators, active partners, inventors, challengers, buyers and lifetimers. Solo operators. Solo operators usually work alone and if needed at all employ a few employees to assist. Most of the entrepreneurs begin their entrepreneurial career in this particular fashion. Active partners. These entrepreneurs start their enterprise in partnership. All the partners actively participate in the operation of the enterprise. Entrepreneurs who only contribute funds to the enterprise but do not actively involve themselves in business activity are called simply partners. Inventors. Such entrepreneurs with their competence and inventive nature invent new products. Their basic interest lies in research and innovative activities. Challenges Such entrepreneurs plunge into business because of the challenges it presents. When one challenge is satisfied, they will be on the lookout for new challenges. Buyers Such entrepreneurs do not wish to bear much risk. Hence, in order to reduce risk, involved in establishing a new enterprise, they wish to buy an ongoing enterprise. Lifetimers Such entrepreneurs take business as an integral part of their life. Usually, the family enterprise and businesses which call for personal skills fall in this particular category of entrepreneurs. The next group of entrepreneurs are classified based on nine personality types. Here we have the improver, the advisor, the superstar, the artist, the visionary, the analyst, the fireball, the hero, and the hero. The first one is the improver. The improver are focused on using their company as a means to improve the world. Their motto is morally correct companies will be rewarded working on a noble cause. Improvers have an unwavering ability to run their business with high integrity and ethics. They are perfectionist and overcritical of employees and customers. Anita Roddick, founder of Body Shop, is one such example. The next type is the advisor. This business personality type provides an extremely high level of assistance and advice to customers. The advisor's motto is, the customer is always right and we must do everything possible to please them. Companies built by advisors become customer focused. Advisors can become totally focused on the needs of their business and customers that they may ignore their own needs and ultimately burn out. John W. Nordstrom, founder of Nordstrom, is an example of advisor type of entrepreneur. The next type is the superstar. Here, the business is centered on the charisma and high energy of the superstar CEO. This personality often will cause them to build their business around their own personal brand. Superstars can be too competitive and work on it. Donald Trump, CEO of Trump Hotels and Casino Resorts, is an example of superstar type of entrepreneur. The next one is the artist. This business personality is reserved but a highly creative type, often found in businesses demanding creativity such as web design and art agencies. As an artist type, they tend to build their business around the unique talents and creativities that they have. They are overly sensitive to their customers' responses, even if the feedback is constructive. Scott Adams, creator of Dilbert, is one such example. The next type is visionary. A business built by a visionary is often based on the future vision and thoughts of the founder. They will have a high degree of curiosity to understand the world around them and will set up a plan to avoid landmines. Visionaries can be too focused on the dream with little focus on reality. Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft Incorporation, is an example of visionary type of entrepreneur. The next type is the analyst. When a business is run by an analyst, their company focus is on fixing problems in a systematic way. 
often the basis for science, engineering, or computer firms, analyst companies excel at problem solving. They need to work on trusting others. Intel founder Gordon Wood, founder of Intel, is an example of analyst type of entrepreneurs. The next type is Fireball. A business owned and operated by a fireball is full of energy, life, and optimism. Their company is life energizing and makes customers feel that the company has a get it done attitude in a fun, playful manner. They may overcome in their teams and act too impulsively. They need to balance their impulsiveness with business planning. Malcolm Forbes, publisher of Forbes magazine, is one such example. The next type is the hero. They have an incredible will and ability to lead the world and their business through any challenge. They are the essence of entrepreneurship and can assemble great companies. They are overpromising and using forceful techniques to get their way will not work long term. To be successful, they need to trust their leadership skills to help others find their way. Jack Welch, CEO of GE, is, an, is, such, is one such example. The healer. A healer provides nurturing and harmony to his business. He has an uncanny ability to survive and persist with an inner calm. Because of their caring, healing attitude toward their, towards their business, they may avoid outside realities and use visual thinking. They need to use scenario planning to pre prepare for turmoil. Ben Cohen, co-founder of Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream, is one such example. The next type of entrepreneur classification is based on school, schools of thought on entrepreneurship. Here, this is classified into four types, that is accessing personal qualities, recognizing opportunities, acting and managing, reassessing and adopting. Under assessing personal qualities, we have great personal school and psychological characteristics. Under reorganizing opportunities, we have classical school of entrepreneurship. Under acting and managing, we have management school of entrepreneurship and leadership school of entrepreneurship. Under reassessing and adopting, we have entrepreneurship school of entrepreneurship. The first one is great person school of entrepreneurship. This school believes that an entrepreneur is born with an intuitive ability, sixth sense, traits and instincts. The successful entrepreneur is described as having a strong drive for independence and success with high levels of vigor, persistence and self-esteem. This great person has an exceptional belief in himself and his abilities. Attention is paid to such traits as energy, perseverance, vision and single-mindedness or abilities such as being inspirational or motivational. Other traits frequently mentioned include physical attractiveness, popularity, and sociability, intelligence, knowledge, judgment, and fluency of speech as also tact, diplomacy, and decisiveness. The next type is psychological characteristics school of entrepreneurship. In this school of thought, focuses on personality factors and believes that entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs have unique values and attitudes towards work and life. These, along with certain dominant needs, propel the indi individual to behave in a certain way. Entrepreneurs can be differentiated from non-entrepreneurs by personality characteristics. Three personality characteristics have received considerable attention in research. They are personal values such as honesty, duty, responsibility, and ethical behavior. The second one is risk-taking propensity. And the third one is need for achievement. The school generally believes that entrepreneurs cannot be developed or trained in classroom situations. Much of the entrepreneur's ability relates to a personality or style of behavior which develops over time primarily through relationships with parents and teachers early in life. Values and ideals fostered in one's family, school, religion, community, and even culture stay with the individual and guide him for a lifetime. 
these values are learned and internalized and reflect the process of socialization into a culture. Personal values are basic to the way an individual behaves and will be expressed regardless of the situation. Since these values are learned early in life and are well established prior to adulthood, entrepreneurial characteristics are hard to inculcate in universities and schools. Industrious, industriousness, need for achievement, locus of control, risk taking and tolerance of ambiguity have received a great deal of attention in this school. The next type is classical school of entrepreneurship. Innovation, creativity or discovery are the key factors underlying the classical body of thought and research on entrepreneurship. In this view, entrepreneurship refers to the processing of creating an opportunity or the opportunity seeking style of management that sparks innovation. The critical aspect of entrepreneurship is in the process of doing rather than owning. The next type is management school of entrepreneurship. The management school suggests that an entrepreneur is a person who organizes or manages a business undertaking assuming the risk for the sake of profit. This school deals with the technical aspects of management and seems to be based on the belief that entrepreneurs can be developed or trained in the classroom. According to this school, entrepreneurship is a series of learned activities which focus on central functions of managing a firm. The management school is directed at improving a person's management capability through developing his rational, and analytic and cause and effect orientation. The school believes that entrepreneurs can be developed or trained in the technical functions of the management. Since according to this school, entrepreneurship can be taught, its central aim is to identify the specific functions involved and provide training to existing and hopeful entrepreneurs. Courses such as New Venture Marketing and New Venture Finance provide the training in these ma management functions that can reduce the number of business failures. The next type is the Leadership School of Entrepreneurs. An entrepreneur is often a leader who relies on people to accomplish his purposes and objectives. The Leadership School of Entrepreneurship is a non-technical side of the management school which suggests that entrepreneurs need to be skilled in appealing to others to join the cause. A successful entrepreneur must also be a people manager or an effective leader or mentor who plays a major role in motivating, directing and leading people. Thus, the entrepreneur must be a leader able to define a vision of what is possible and attract people to rally around that vision and transform it into reality. This school suggests that leaders must be effective in developing and mentoring people. The leader is an experienced mentor by whom people is taught, pupil is taught the critical trade secrets. Given the importance of mentoring process, the entrepreneur is more than a manager. He is also a leader of the people. The next type is Intrapreneurship School of Entrepreneurship. The intrapreneurship school evolved in response to lack of innovativeness with, within organizations. Intrapreneurs to, the, intrapreneurs to the limited extent that they possess discretionary freedom of action are able to act as entrepreneurs and implement their ideas without themselves becoming owners. Alertness to opportunities provides the means for extending the organization's activities and discovering opportunities. This allows existing organizations to develop and diversify their activities in other areas. Intrapreneurship involves the development of independent units designed to create a market and expand innovative services, technologies, or methods within the organizations. Intrapreneurial activities can focus on strategic redirection, organizational duplication, product development, and operational efficiencies. The next classification of types of entrepreneurs is based upon socio-cultural factors. The first type is immigrant entrepreneur. An individual who has a recent arrival in a country and starts a business as means of economic survival is called as an immigrant entrepreneur. 
for example sabir bhatia of hotmail.com fame falls into this particular category as he migrated from bangalore to us and started his venture there the next type of socio cultural entrepreneur is ethnic entrepreneur ethnic entrepreneurs have a set of connections and regular patterns of interaction among people sharing common national background or migration experiences the marwaris who migrated long back from their native place marwar in rajasthan to create business in west bengal fall into this particular category prominent marwari and entrepreneurs are birla singanyas lakshmi nivas mittal the steel baron fame kishor biyani of big bazaar etc fall into this category similarly the parsi businessmen in the western part of india originally hailed from persia now called as iran tatas are the most prominent parsi with their founder jamshedbi tata as the first generation entrepreneur the next type is minority entrepreneur minority minority entrepreneur is an entrepreneur who is not of the majority population us federal categories include black person of hispanic or latin american ancestry person of asian pacific islander american indian etc there are many indian entrepreneurs in the us who fall into this particular category one example is amar gopal bose a professor at mit and the founder of immensely successful bose corporation fall in this particular category the next type of social cultural entrepreneur is called as women entrepreneur as the name itself suggests women entrepreneur involves uh, involves women uh, involves women at the forefront of entrepreneurship shri mahila griha udyog lijjat papad is one such organization the lijjat papad organization was st- started in 1959 with seven lady members with a borrowed sum of rupees 80 in girgaon in mumbai another typical example of this type of entrepreneur is kiran majumdar shah classification of entrepreneurs based on motivation this classification is based upon the motivation of the entrepreneur to start a new venture broadly this classification has two categories they are first generation entrepreneur and family business entrepreneur first gen uh, first generation entrepreneur does not have any family business prior to starting his or her own business venture dhirubai ambani of reliance Kiran Majumdar Shah of Biocon, Yenar Narayan Murthy of Infosys, Nar- Naresh Goyal of Jet Airways are few examples. First generation entrepreneurs are of two types. They are self actual uh, actualizer entrepreneur. These entrepreneurs start their business by a thirst for achievement and a sense of independence and autonomy. For example, Sunil Bharti Mittal of Airtel is driven by self actualization the second type of first generation entrepreneur are discontented entrepreneur discontented entrepreneur is the one who is unhappy with the present working condition in the organization where he is ser- currently serving and decides to move on to start his own enterprise the uh, erstwhile md of taj hotels ajit kerkar was unceremoniously ousted by ratan tata in 1997 due to the growing discontent between the two immediately afterwards kerkar set up tulip star hotels as an entity to manage and own properties in the in a short span after he quit the taj group in 1997 the tulip star either owns manages or markets large number of properties across india The second type of uh, entrepreneur based on motivation is family business entrepreneur. Family business entrepreneurs are the followers of family tradition role models. A typical example is that of Aditya Vikram Birla who created a, about 75 factories for his business group in a career span of 25 years. Aditya Birla was a son of industrialist Basant Kumar Birla popularly known as BK. 
His group is now no known after him, that is Aditya Birla Group, and managed by his son Kumar Mangalam Birla. Entrepreneurial Experience Classification. This classification of types of entrepreneur is based upon the extent of entrepreneurial experience. There are two broad categories in this classification: novice entrepreneurs and habitual entrepreneurs. Novice entrepreneurs. Novice entrepreneurs can be viewed as individuals with no prior minority or majority business ownership experience, either as a business founder, an inheritor, or a purchaser of an independent business, but who currently own a minority or majority equity stake in an independent business that is new, purchased, or inherited. N. R. Narayan Murthy was a novice entrepreneur when he founded Infosys along with his six colleagues. Habitual entrepreneur. Habitual entrepreneurs are most often described as, as persons who have experience owning at least two different firms, whether temporarily or simultaneously. There are two types of habitual entrepreneurs they are serial entrepreneurs and portfolio entrepreneurs serial entrepreneurs serial entrepreneurs can be viewed as individuals who have sold or closed a business in which they had a minority or majority ownership stake and they currently have a minority or majority ownership stake in a single independent business that is either new purchased or inherited serial entrepreneurs thrive of the psychological reward of making an impact as opposed to wealth to be gained from operating successful ventures these entrepreneurs are risk takers having built sufficient wealth they will invest their money on a new venture that often tend to be vague visions of an unsolved problem they view failure as an experience which will make them stronger and bolder to take on new risks Sunil Bharati Mittal of Bharati Airtel fame qualifies for this category of serial entrepreneur. The next type of habitual entrepreneur is portfolio entrepreneur. Portfolio entrepreneurs can be viewed as individuals who currently have minority or majority ownership stakes in two or more independent businesses that are either new, purchased, and or inherited. Kishore Biyani of big bazaar pantaloon and central market fame is uh, is an example for portfolio entrepreneur next classification is based on technical experience this classification is based upon previous occupational background of the entrepreneurs in the technology sector a technical entrepreneur is defined as a founder of Founder and current owner, manager of a technology-based business that is primarily responsible for its planning and establishment and currently having some ma management control of the organization. The different types of entrepreneur based on technical uh, experiences, research technical entrepreneur. These entrepreneurs are involved in te technological research activities at an academic institution or as research laboratory prior to creating their own venture. Professor Amar Gopal Bose of MIT is a typical example of this category. He was into researching acoustic systems and later created his own corporation called Bose Corporation. The next type is producer technical entrepreneur. These entrepreneurs have a history of involvement in direct commercial production or development of a product or process, usually in a large organization. Typical example for this type of entrepreneur is Subortho Bakshi, the co-founder of Mindtree Limited. Bakshi worked as chief executive of Wipro's global R&D before co-founding Mindtree in 1999. Mindtree generated a revenue of rupees 12,375 million in the financial year of 2008-2009. The next type of technical experience uh, entrepreneur is user technical entrepreneur. Such entrepreneurs may have been involved 
as an end user in the application of the specific product or technology but without direct involvement in the actual development of the technology tulsi tanti the founder of wind power major suzlon falls into this particular category tanti was into his family business of textiles when power shortages prompted him to install two wind uh, two wind turbines as captive power later buoyed by the success of this technology he decided to switch over from textiles to wind power generation hence suzlon energy was born the next type is opportunist technical entrepreneur as the name suggests this kind of entrepreneurs are individuals who have identified a technology based opportunity and while initiating and managing a small technology based venture either has little or no technical experience or who pre who or whose previous occupational experience was within non technical organization azim hasam premji inherited wipro from his father who was into oil business later premji realized the potential of information technology and ventured into this business the next set of entrepreneur classification is based on technology there are three types under this category they are technical entrepreneurs non technical entrepreneurs and professional entrepreneurs technical entrepreneurs the strength of technical entrepreneur is in his skills in production techniques he concentrates more on the production rather than on sales and marketing he possesses innovative abilities or craftsman skills in himself which he applies to develop and to improve the technical aspect of the product non technical entrepreneurs non technical entrepreneurs is not concerned with the technical aspect of the product rather he spends more time in developing alternative strategies of the marketing and distribution to promote his business his target is not to change the production technique but on how to increase the demand of the product in which he is dealing with professional entrepreneurs professional entrepreneurs are interested in floating a business but but does not want to manage or operate it once a business is established he sells it out and catches on to float a new business they never cling to the enterprises established by them the next set of entrepreneurs are classified based on growth there are two types growth entrepreneurs and super growth entrepreneurs growth entrepreneurs these are entrepreneurs who take high growth industry which has sustainable growth prospectors super growth entrepreneurs these are those who have shown enormous growth of performance in their venture and and are identified by liquidity of funds profitability and gearing the next set of entrepreneurs are classified based on stages of development there are four types the first one is first generation these are entrepreneurs who starts an industrial unit by his innovative skills he is essentially an innovator and combines different technologies to produce a marketable product or service the next one is second generation these are those entrepreneurs who, who inherit the family business firms and pass it from one generation to another modern or revolutionary entrepreneurs these entrepreneurs undertake those ventures which suit to changing and current demands in the market classical entrepreneurs these are the ones who is concerned with customers and marketing needs through the development of a self supporting venture and is a stereotype entrepreneur who aim to maximize his returns at a consistent level with the survival of the firm the next set of entrepreneurs are classified based on area the first type is urban entrepreneur urban entrepreneurs are the ones who starts with no resources and builds a company or brand into success and someone who uses perfect blend of book and street smarts to run their business well the next one is rural entrepreneur the origin lies in the rural areas whereas has a lot of potential to undertake various business industry agriculture and plays a significant role in the economic growth of the nation the next set of entrepreneurs is classified based on gender 
first one is men entrepreneur when business enterprises are owned managed and controlled by men they are called as men entrepreneur women entrepreneur if a business is organized managed owned and controlled by an, by women then they are called as women entrepreneur the next classification is based on scale of operation the first type is small enterprise or small entrepreneur an entrepreneur who owns an enterprise having 10 to 49 employees and who has made investment in a plant and machinery up to 1 crore is called as small entrepreneur the second type is medium entrepreneur a entrepreneur who owns an enterprise having 50 to 249 employees and who has made investment on plant and machinery up to 1 crore between 1 crore to 5 crore is called as medium entrepreneur large entrepreneur an entrepreneur who owns an enterprise having 250 or more people and has made investment in the plant and machinery above 5 crore is called as large entrepreneur the next set of entrepreneurs is categorized based on ownership the first one is private entrepreneur private entrepreneur is a one who as an individual sets up a business enterprise he is the sole owner of the enterprise and bears the entire risk involved in it the next one is state entrepreneur when trading or industrial venture is undertaken by state or government then they are called as state entrepreneur joint entrepreneur when private entrepreneur and government jointly runs a business enterprise it is called as joint entrepreneur in this particular video lecture we have discussed about classification and types of entrepreneurs who are categorized based on different criterias and also we have seen some examples